Hi guys, welcome to Caternix Corner. So in this video, I wanted to talk real quick about the uh, all wire grow out cages uh, that I'm currently assembling. Uh, for those of you who've seen the uh, previous video on the all wire layer cages, which are the cages with the slope floor uh, and they have the egg rollout uh, incorporated into them. Uh, it's gonna be very similar to that. Uh, just a few different measurements on this cage and I briefly wanted to go over that with you in case you guys wanted to put some cages together like this. Now this cage measures 36 inches wide by 20 inches deep and it's 10 inches tall. Um, it's also got a, a J feeder installed on it and then very similar to the layer cages it's going to have a plumbed water system uh, on the back side of the cage uh, either with water nipples or the, uh, the standard poultry drinking cups. So um, Basically, uh, as far as cutting the wire and bending the wire, um, you can use the, the same technique that we used in the first video. Uh, if you've got a wire break, that's going to be even better for you, or a metal break actually. Uh, it's going to be even better. It's going to give you a lot cleaner bends. But uh, what we show in the other video is basically just uh, placing your wire in between two 2x2s, two two, screwing them together, and using a, a rubber mallet bending your wire that way. So let me go ahead um, and get these cages off here. I'm going to bring up some uh, uh, pre-cut wire that I've already got ready to assemble, and I'll go through the assembly process real quick with you and give you the measurements and whatnot. Okay, so we're going to start out with the top and the front piece of the cage. Um, your wire will measure 36 inches wide, and your bend is going to be at 10 inches. So the, the front piece of the cage is 10 inches, and the top piece of the cage is 20 inches. So it's 36 inches wide by 20 inch, inches deep. So what we're gonna do, um, we're gonna cut two pieces that measure 20 inches by 10 inches, and those will be our side pieces. So what we'll do is we'll take, uh, take these pieces and go ahead and uh, using J clips, we will uh, clip them onto the top piece. And usually, what I do when I start uh, assembling the cage is I'll just put a few uh, clips on each side just to hold it in place while I'm uh, getting the the assembly done. And then once I get it pretty much uh, completed, then I'll go back around and uh, tighten things up, put a few more J clips on it. Now what I used to uh, cut the wire with was a uh, angle grinder with a, a diamond tip cutoff blade on it, uh, same type of blade that you would use to cut uh, ceramic tile. Um, it works pretty good. You can get nice and close uh, to the edge of the wire so you're not gonna have you know, tips sticking out that are going to uh, potentially scratch you. Okay, and once you've got the first side on, you can go ahead and uh, mount the second side piece on. Okay, so I've got the, the two side pieces mounted. Um, now we can go ahead and mount the bottom piece, uh, which also has uh, the back on it. Um, basically what we're using on the, for the bottom is half inch by one inch um, coated uh, welded wire. And it is also going to measure 36 inches wide and the back will be 10 inches. So again, at your at the 10 inch mark, you're going to make your bend and then your bottom piece will measure 20 inches. And in the same fashion, we'll go ahead and uh, using the J clips, go ahead and mount that to our, our tops and sides. Another nice thing about building these all-wire cages yourself is you can actually build them for a fraction 
of what you would spend if you were to buy them um, you know, online commercially. Uh, and also you can build them to fit your needs. Uh, you can change the widths, the depth, uh, whether or not you want a rollout cage or a grow out cage. Um, there's just so many advantages to you know, taking the time to build them yourself. And this project here, um, you really don't have to have very much uh, you know, building experience. The, the cages are real simple. You can, you can get by with you know, a pair of these J-clip pliers and a pair of uh, electrician side cutters and build the entire cage. So let's go ahead and move on to the door. The door is going to measure uh, 12 inches by six inches. Now that's a little bit larger than the door that we had on the rollout cages. Uh, and the reason for that is um, this whole cage is going to be open. So we need a little bit larger door to be able to reach, you know, all the way into the back corners of the cages. So uh, what I do on the doors is I measure in depending on what side of the cage you want the door on, I measure in four inches, which is four of these spaces, and make a mark. And then this bottom rail, or this bottom piece of wire, that needs to stay there. This top piece of wire needs to stay there because that's what we're going to clamp our door onto. That's gonna act as the hinge. So we're gonna be cutting out two rails this way, and we're gonna come back and measure 12 inches that's going to put us to about right there. Okay, and again, I'm going to use the angle grinder to uh, cut out the door opening, but you can do it with, you know, some electrician's uh, side cutters. They'll work just fine. So you want to make sure you only cut two of these wires here, and then you want to come down to the other end and cut two wires. And then just to be on the safe side, I am going to measure my opening again. So uh, I actually need to come over one more wire. I made my mark in the wrong spot. So I'm going to come over one more inch. And then what I'll do is cut out this top row of wires here on the hinge side, and then cut out this row of wire here on the, the bottom side of the cage. Okay, and that is our door opening, which measures 12 inches wide and six inches tall. So that'll be good for that. Now on my cages, I am going to use the uh, J feeders. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the opening for the J feeder. Let me grab a feeder here so I can mark it real quick. Now on the J feeder, I like to come in, I believe it's three inches. Yeah, three inches from the other edge of the cage. And now the J feeder only needs two inches of height in order to slide it into the cage. So what I'm going to do is mark, mark my first set of cuts. Let's see, one, two, three. So I will cut there. And then I will cut to here. Okay, and then basically just slide the J feeder in. You might have to clean up uh, some of those uh, little ends there where you cut them off. Okay, once you've got the feeder slide in, you just clip down these, uh, these little clips to hold it in place. Now I will be taking this feeder out again uh, because I need to modify the front of the feeder. Uh, what I do is 
uh, mount some one inch by two inch wire over the opening of the feeder. That just helps to keep the birds from kicking out, you know, so much feed. Uh, I did do a video on that a while back. I will uh, post a link to that video down in the description below. Okay, so the only thing left to do, guys, is to put our little centerpiece in here and then mount the door. So let me go ahead. I'll cut out the centerpiece and then we'll come back. I'll show you real quick how we mount that and then we'll go ahead and put our door on. Okay, so I've got our uh, center divider piece cut. Uh, basically, it measures uh, six inches deep and 10 inches tall. And basically all you're gonna do is stick it inside the cage and come over, you know, maybe two um, inches or so. Maybe you can even go three if you want um, from the edge of your door. And what you wanna do is fit that in there I'm going to go over three inches just to give me a little more room between the door and the uh, edge of that wire there. And basically what you're going to do is take your, your J-clips and go ahead and clip that in place, uh, top, front, and on the bottom. And like I say, this piece is just to strengthen up the 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 floor piece on the front side of the cage on the back of the cage uh, you have the bend of the floor and the back piece which is all part of one so it's pretty stout back there but up front here where we j clipped into the front of the cage it's not quite as stout as it would be uh, if it was one solid piece you got to make sure that this is pulled far enough forward Okay, so the next thing we need to do is hang our door, and that's very simple. Basically, this rail here is going to act as our hinge, and we're just using J-clips. We will uh, uh, clip the door to that top rail, and when you cut your door out, let me give you a measurement on it, because our, our opening is 12 inches, so you want to cut your door a little bit oversized uh, horizontal ways so that it closes up against the wire on, on both sides of the cage. So your opening is 12 inches and your um, door size is going to be 14 inches wide and uh, two, four, six inches tall. And basically the same thing with that, you're going to loosely uh, J-clip your door on there. You can usually get by with, you know, just three J-clips on this. And they are going to act as a hinge Get that in there. And you can see the door's already starting to work. And once you've got it all clipped in there, you can come back and, and readjust the door as far as um, you know, making sure that it's it's perfectly flat. And whatnot so I do want to slide that over just a little bit because I want the even amount on both sides okay and so there's our door and what I use on the door um, I just get those little spring clips you can get them at uh, Walmart for like a dollar and when you're not working in the cage just clip that door closed just to make sure that you know nothing can work their way out or nothing can get in okay so here's the uh, framework that I mount the cages in uh, you can see it's just basic uh, two by two construction. Uh, it measures um, 36 inches wide in between the rails. And you can see down on the bottom, I've already got the uh, supports for the lower manure tray. Uh, the rest of the manure trays will just sit on the cage um, above it. And uh, to mount the cages in there, basically uh, from the outside, I just drill a quarter inch hole and run a two and a half inch long a uh, quarter 20 bolt with a fender washer on the inside and a nut and that holds the cages in place. 
So it's, it's very basic, very simple, but uh, it works well. Okay, guys, so I hope that gave you a little bit of a better idea on how I put together my uh, all-wire grow-out cages. Um, if you have any questions on the build, post them in the comments down below. I try to get in here as often as possible and answer them. Uh, if not, hit me up over on the uh, Turnix Corner Facebook group page. Um, we can uh, help you out over there just as well. So guys, I want to thank you for joining me today. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please do so. It helps me out. You can get notified of any new and upcoming videos. Uh, again, thanks for being here and we'll see you on the next one.